हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ द ओपन एजुकेट इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द सीआरएन एंड हाउ दैट सीआरएन इज यूजफुल फॉर द एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट लाइक कॉलेज स्कूल्स एंड द वोकेशनल सेंटर बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स लॉग इन टू द सिस्टम यूजिंग योर यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड आई एम एंटरिंग माय यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड क्लिक ऑन द लॉग इन क्लिक ऑन द मेन मेन्यू and click on this crm to enter into the crm but first of all what is crm crm stands for customer relationship management where we can create the leads that leads can be converted to opportunity that opportunity goes to the different stages and maybe that leads can be converted to some business when you will open this module you will see the different stages like new qualified propositions and more means you will get the quick view of your each and every opportunity but we are going to cover this crm in the two steps first how to create the leads and second how that leads convert to that opportunity but first of all what is leads leads may be a person or an organization who is interested in what you are selling but in our terms in our educational institute that leads can be a student or the person who interested to take admission in our educational institute like college schools and that vocational centers but here you can see that there is no any options for the lead so now i am going to enable that option at the top so first of all click on the configuration click on the settings here you can see that there is a option called leads is there click on this check box click on this save amazing now that lead option is already at the top means first step is that you have to get over this lead option at the top now how to create the leads here i am going to explain three ways to create the leads for any educational institute now step number 1 here you can see that one incoming emails option is that i am clicking on this check box here you have to mention that college university or vocational centers email id the person or students who sends any query through this email id will be generated as lead under this lead option now click on this save this is the first way that, that how you can create the leads now i am going to explain the second way to creating the leads here the options lead is that click on this now there is one option create is that let's click on this create here you have to provide this all this information when you fill this all information this information will be generated as leads under this lead option now i am going to explain the third option which is using the website process for that click on the main menu and i am going to enter the front page of our website wait a moment here you can see that that contact us module is there let's click on this contact us now let's i am taking the example of mine only pinky sha wants to take inquiry about the admission in particular the college so i am contact us that university i am writing my name pinkisha that phone number my email id and company and subject its admission inquiry and your question fees regarding now sign now that information will be automatically generated as lead and that that lead option now click on this main menu click on this crm to enter into the crm click on this leads 
now you can see that the status of the pinkisha here you can see that that lead contact name email id phone number and everything that detail which we fill up in that contact us form is already listed as lead under this lead option now this is the third way that how we can create the leads using a website process now second step how that lead is converted to the opportunity now i am going to explain that process for that click on this admission inquiry here you can see that there is an option convert to opportunity mark as lost and the convert to student three options are there if pinky confirm to take admission in that college or school or university then click on this convert to student that that opportunity is directly converted to the students now here one option is convert to the opportunity let's click on it one pop up window is there here asking about the conversation action here convert to opportunity or merge with existing opportunity um doing this convert to opportunity i am assigning that opportunity to sales person who is jams the church i have to assign that sales team and here this customer option is that that create a new customer link to an existing customer or do not link to a customer i am click on this create a new customer and click on this create opportunity now that lead is converted to that opportunity and now i can see that opportunity in my pipeline view now click on this sales click on this my pipeline i am removing this filter my pipeline here you can see the kanban view of all my leads ah how beautiful my leads are here this opportunity is already under the list of new one here i am going to edit this click on this edit i can provide the extra information over here here one information expected revenue is there i am going to edit if i want to add some probability then we can here internal notes are there follow ups are there you can provide the all information whatever you want now click on this save click on this cells my pipeline removing this filter ah beautiful now this admission inquiry is under the list of the new stage i am going to give the priority for that click on this edit this is the priority medium high and very high i am doing that priority is very high if i want to add some tag then i can i am um, it's consulting if i want to change the color then i can i like this yellow color i am doing it click on this save again cells it's my pipeline removing this filter now you can see that this admission inquiry at the top here you can see that progress bar with the expected revenue this expected revenue is the revenue for this entire stage here you can see that this admission inquiry its priority that sales persons and every information is included in that information now if i am okay with this opportunity then i am considering that opportunity which is going to stage from new to qualified now i am doing that i can drag drop and drag this one if i am doing that you can see that the revenue is updated i am doing it again wow that revenue is automatically updated but now that opportunity is converted to new to qualify here that progress bar is with the different color is that this is the green color which provide the activity scheduled date this is the red color which is provide the information regarding the overdue now i am clicking on this admission inquiry which is already qualified here the options like mark won mark lost or convert to student here clicking on edit here you want to provide some information then you can 
here you can see that one chatter box is there that state new to qualified qualified to new new to qualified if i'm adding that expected revenue that is also added in that chatter box that all the actions which we are doing is already mentioned in this chatter box if i'm okay with this opportunity then i am converted that qualified stage to proposition stage or that just i am going to enter this proposition stage and click on this save now that opportunity which is in qualified is already enter into the proposition stage let's see that view for that click on this else my pipeline i am removing this filter now that admission inquiry is already under the stage of the proposition now i'm going to open it and going to edit it here one most amazing option is that that meeting if we want to arrange a meeting with that parents or students by clicking on this simple button we can arrange a meeting we can create the meeting now that student is ready to take admission in our college means our deal is confirmed so we can click on this mark one amazing you will get one green ribbon with the one tag is coming here means you have completed your first deal and that one ribbon is coming up now if maybe it's not necessary that all this is converted into the one maybe it is lost so for that we can click on this mark lost but you here you have to provide that lost reason i am providing that reason click on this submit after submitting the orange ribbon with the lost tag is coming here but one more interesting option is that if we want to restore it then we can click on this restore and that is converted into the restore that's all for this video do like share and subscribe to our channel stay tuned to get more such learning videos to get free demo you can visit our website openeducate.org